Yep, yeah. we're okay. This is this is an engineered mooring field. So if you come out here in the winter time when it's a hundred percent capacity sold out, all these boats will get this close and it might be a little uncomfortable for you for the first hour or two, but you'll learn that that's the way an engineered mooring field works. If you're in an anchorage with 20 or 30 boats, this guy puts out 100 feet, that guy puts out 150, the third guy puts out 200, the fourth guy puts out a stern anchor. It gets confusing. So that's where the mooring field with all those balls in a line, all those balls in a line, and everybody just swings uniformly. And let me make an exception to that. Powerboats swing different than sailboats do. Sailboats are low profile and they're more subject to current changes than to wind. Than to wind. And then powerboats with the big houses like our house and that house are more subject to wind changes rather than current. But in both cases, everybody's uniform and you won't touch each other. And during the evening hours, somebody's playing a guitar or a banjo or whatever, you've got some music out here on the water, and then everybody can go to the, uh, the dinghy dock up there and you can go in for showers and laundry and catch a ride to a restaurant for dinner. So mooring fields have a good purpose.